All right, let's talk about the maximum ice cream bar. So basically, you have an ice cream, and then you have you are given the array of cars, and then for every single cost, I represent the I ice cream, and you have a number of points, and you have to return a maximum number of the ice cream, uh, for the coins. So uh, the uh, the board can buy in any order. So this is actually pretty easy. So if you sort, sort the array of the cost, and you actually uh, keep using your coins to uh, subtract the cost at i. And if that is still greater than equal to zero, just continue, else you break. So I don't, I don't know what's the difficulty for this question. So uh, let me just write it. So arrays, stuff, sort, uh, cost. And I will have to return a result. Okay. And I will stop from the beginning to the end. And then I will say in now. So just making sure the current cost of co uh, coins minus cost at i. So if now is actually less than zero, we know like this is no longer um, purchase. But purchase right, so I I don't want to traverse the rest of the nouns in the array, so I can create. So I will just return the result right away. So if everything else, I can increment my uh increment my results, so I can say I buy this one, but also I need to update my points. So it's going to be uh minus equal uh cost at i right. So this is pretty much the solution. So here we go. So let's talk about the time and space. The time is what uh unlock and right. So n represent the length of the uh length of the cost, and for the for loop is all of n, right? All right. So this is pretty much the time for the space. Uh, reality we not allocate any space. So this is all of constant, all of one. For space, time is unlock uh unlock and right. And this is the solution, and I will see you next time. Bye.